the Trevi widget has the ability to show an image and a column's header. By default, the image will show on the right side of a header. But what if we want a header's image to show on the left side, or even the top or the bottom? To change the position of a header's image, we will need to get our feet wet with TTK styles. Join me as we further explore the Treeview widget in TK Enter. Hi, my name is Jobin, and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi, and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome. I want to show you how to create this. So we have a tree view widget. And what's interesting is that in the header, the image is located in the center. Um, usually by default, the header's image will show up on the right. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. Okay, to start our code, we'll import tkinter as tk from tkinter import ttk root equal tk dot tk root dot main loop and then we'll pr put our main code in between these two lines here okay so the tree view widget is a ttk widget so which is why we have to import ttk up here so here i'm going to put tree view vehicles equal ttk dot tree view and we're going to put it into root and then we're going to pack it onto the screen. So pack fill equal tk dot both expand equal true and let's see what that gives us. Okay, so we have an empty tree view widget. Okay, so now we need to create our columns. So here I'm gonna put column names equal and I'm gonna make this a tuple. Okay, so one of the columns that I want to create will be vehicle name the other one will be year and the last one will be color and these are all lowercase um, because i'm just going to be referencing these in code um, this is not how it will appear to the user these are just the references uh, to the to the columns okay so here i'm going to pass in columns equal column names so now we should have our columns created with no text, mind you. Yeah, so we have one, two, three, four, four columns um, with no text. I only defined three. So this very first column is one that TK Enter creates automatically. And that's what that extra one is. Okay, so now that we have our columns created, um, I want to put some text on the columns so the user can see what those columns mean. Okay, so we can do that with the heading method. So we'll say treeview.vehicles.heading and the very first column is number sign zero and text equal, I'm gonna make this vehicle type. And just to show you what this does and what the heading method does, I'll just preview it again. So this will essentially just put the text in uh, put the text of the header. So we can see here that number sign zero is in reference to this special column that TK enter creates for us. Okay, so now we're going to carry on with the rest of those columns. Treaty vehicles dot heading. Next column is vehicle name. The text will be vehicle name. That's how the user will see it. Next one will be year. The text will be year with a capital Y. And the last column will be color with a capital C. Okay, so now we have all our columns created. But in this column or in this header, I want to put an image um, of, a, of a vehicle. Okay, so we can do that by importing the pillow library. So from pill import image and image tk. tk enter does support png files natively um, but i think you'll find that your mileage will vary uh, for png support 
Uh, some PNG files will load successfully, I find, and some don't. Um, so if you use the pillow library, um, I find it to be more reliable for loading PNG files. So we need the image class here to load the PNG file. And we need the image TK class here to convert the image into an image TK type, which TK enter can use. So I already have a PNG file that I want to use. It's in the same folder as my Python file. So I'm just going to use that. So to load the image, we'll say with image dot open vehicle dot PNG as image. And now we need to load it as a photo image. Okay. So we'll say vehicle image equal image TK dot photo image and we'll pass in the image because TK enter likes to use photo images. So we're converting the image into a photo image. Okay, so now that we have the image loaded into this variable, um, in the heading column, the very first column, the special column, number sign zero, we're gonna pass in, let's just make it multiple lines so we can see it better. We're gonna pass in image equal vehicle image. Okay, and let's see what that gives us. Okay, so that gives us our image. Um, but by default, it puts it over to the right-hand side. Um, so in order to reposition this and, and place this image uh, somewhere else, let's say on the left or at the top or at the bottom, we have to use TTK styles. And I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing I'll do is here I'm going to write style equal ttk dot style. So we're going to use the style object to make appearance changes to the tree view. So we can position our image, our headers image uh, in a new spot. But first we have to know what the name of the tree view class is. And I can find that out by typing in tree view vehicles winfo dot winfo underscore class. And if I run that, and if I run that and print it, we should see the name of the class here. Okay, so the name of the class is tree view. So we use this class name to access the styles uh, as part of the style object here. And I'll show you what I mean. So here I can write print style dot layout. So here we need to pass a class or a section of the uh, widget that we would like to modify the appearance for. So here I'll say tree view because I know that's the name of the class. And I'm just going to run this to see what we get down here. Okay, so instantly we can see a lot of data relative to what the tree view widget looks like. You know, there's a uh, padding, uh, there's a, a field, there's a, there's a border, but I don't see anything in relation to an image or, or a header uh, for that matter. So we need to consult the documentation and I'll show you what to look for in the documentation. Okay, so this is the documentation for the tree view widget. Um, this is based on the TK widget, which is not necessarily one-on-one -on -one TK enter. It's, it's based on TK um, because TK enter is based on TK. And if we do a search on this page for style, we can instantly see that there's quite a few things called style here. So if I click on style, it just takes me to a generic page about TTK widgets and, and styles. Uh, this isn't exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go back 
and I'm going to keep searching until I find something specific to the tree view widget. And here we have it. Okay, so we see styling options. And it says here the class name for a TTK tree view is tree view. And that's exactly the name that we're getting in TK enter when we typed in uh, winfo underscore class. So reading on, it says the tree view header class is heading. The tree view item class is item and the tree view cell class is cell. Well, we're not interested in the cell or the item, but the heading sounds interesting. Okay, so the tree view header class name is heading. So let's have a closer look at heading and, and see what that contains. So going back to our code, we have style.layout tree view and we'll, we're printing the results, which gives us this. But again, we're not seeing anything related to images. So based on the documentation that we just saw, there's a class called heading with a capital H. So let's try that. We'll try tree view dot heading with a capital H and we'll rerun our application. Okay, so now we're getting something different. And we're instantly seeing something interesting. We're seeing tree heading dot image. And the side of the image currently says right. So we definitely want to change that. So in order to change that, we need to copy this. It's essentially um, a Python list. And within it, there's uh, tuples and, and, and dictionaries. So I'm going to copy the whole thing into the clipboard. And we don't need to print it out anymore, so I'll, I'll comment that out. And here I'm going to write new style equal and the data that, that we just copied to the clipboard. And I'm not pasting it as a, as a string. It's an, it's an actual list, you know, the, the actual original formatting. Okay, so I'm going to scroll to the section that said tree view or, or tree heading dot image. And here I'm going to change the side to left. And that's all I'm going to change. Um, but we need to reflect that change back into the TTK styles. Okay. So now we have to say style dot layout and the class we want to change. So in this case, it's going to be tree view dot heading. And we want to give it our new style. And let's run our code and see what we get. There we go. We can see that the image is now on the left hand side. And we can experiment further. So we can go back into this section and say side top for the tree heading dot image. And let's run that. Now it's at the top. Let's try bottom. And now it's uh, at the bottom. So that's basically how you change the positioning of a header's image. We saw how to change an image's position in a tree view header using TTK styles. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Until the next tutorial, thanks for watching.